Golf ball design was first pioneered 600 years ago when someone observed that rough balls flew further than smooth balls. Physicist and golfer Peter Guthrie Tate further refined this observation in 1890 through study, focusing particularly on golf balls and founded modern golf ball design. Adding small dimples to the surface of golf balls greatly enhances their aerodynamics. Small dimples increase both drag and lift, with more lift produced than drag. However, dimples lower the coefficient of drag below the coefficient of drag of a smooth spear once the Reynolds number passes 100,000. The design of dimples is vital for maximum performance. The coefficient of drag can vary by 40% due to dimple design alone. Deep dimples produce greater drag and lift, which results in shorter flights at large angles. This undesirable characteristic of deep dimples is why dimples on golf balls are shallow. A steep angle between the surface and the dimple also reduces the drag coefficient. Companies have used NASA equipment and hired NASA employees to improve their golf ball designs. The Ben Hogan Company used NASA wind tunnels to improve its golf ball design and Wilson Golf hired a former NASA associated design engineer to design its golf ball. The golf ball design of Wilson Golf had 60 triangular sides instead of 20 triangular sides and used three different sized dimples. Large dimples improved lift, maintained spin, and reduced drag. Small dimples ensured there was not excessive lift. Median dimples had characteristics of both the large and the small dimples. These dimple sizes were optimally placed to improve the Wilson golf ball. This technology has impacted my golf game. A good golf ball can get you that extra 10 to 15 yards. I can evaluate golf balls while playing golf casually or assist my family members who are more involved in golf choose the best ball.